These drivers always sell out time after time, but this could be the year you finally get your hands on one. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today I have some drivers which I always think are the best. It was the best of 2021, 2022, 23, 24. And now we're gonna see a lot more come to the market. Why? We'll get into that in today's video. Chris, how are you? I never knew that. Did you not? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, did anybody else? Yeah, I think a lot of people did actually. I don't think yeah. they did. But Chris, we love these drivers. So you've yep. got the Taylor 300 Mini driver. That I think is probably the best one. Yeah. It was the better one. We had the original one, which to be honest, I don't know where that is. I did have it and I, I lent it to someone and it. someone's got it and it frustrates me. But uh, you've got the 300 Mini driver. I think that is a fantastic looking head. And I think so many golfers would benefit from having one of those in the bag. Yeah, fantastic driver. I have this one and this is, go on, it's the Just, mini it, burner. It's why it's damaged. Well, it is damaged and we will go into that. The reason why this could be classed as the best one, it's not as good a looking, I don't think. It's definitely a more a trip down nostalgia lane, but stay tuned guys, we're gonna talk more about more mini drivers coming to the market this year. It is damaged, Dave, so uh, this is my pride and joy. And I mean, I, I couldn't sell it if I wanted to because no one now wants it. So this one does have changeable weights. And I think that's why it's a little bit of a game changer. You can see we have the heavyweight at the front near that through slot speed pocket and the lighter weight at the back, making this actually a low spin driver. 13 and a half degrees set on lower, so it's set more on 11 and a half, and it's a three wood length shaft, so it's a little bit shorter. Now, people know that, that's nothing new. People are in the comments going, James, why are you doing another video on mini drivers? But, have you seen Ooh. Golf WRX rumors? R rumors? R rumors. Yes, I have seen the rumors, yeah, I've seen the pictures. I've, Which uh, ones have you seen? Because I think I've seen ones that you maybe haven't seen. I've seen the TSR, driver the tightless driver yep and i've also seen a pxg one the rumor mill is in full flow we've all seen them apparently so that you fully great. know that i never look online you never so. look so you, they must be plastered all over the place but today we're going to talk about the pros of these drivers the cons of these drivers Oof. and we're going to talk about what we think this tightless and pxg mini driver might well look like as well as what i think a rumored tailor-made mini driver 2024 might look like tailor-made aren't not going to make one now are they it's their best literally they sell out in minutes they do right right we're having a match yeah have yeah. to use these off the tee yep yeah. that is unbelievable that might be near the green you know and that says at 13 and a half degrees there that's unreal chris middle of so i'm going to play devil's advocate here and i'm going to say what everyone's saying in the comments Ooh. if they're that good why don't you have them in the bag all the time because that's the best ball flight i've seen you hit in years i did use it for about a year a year and a half when i was struggling with the driver so i did use this one for a long time because again distance wise i didn't lose that much i found the center of the face more hit more fairways but then that gave me the confidence to go back to a driver so and I mean, now you're just losing golf balls now i'm losing golf balls again <laughs> i might it back in bag well yeah there's that isn't there there's that i might put it back in the bag there's so if always... we talk about pros of these clubs keeping the ball in place certainly one of them uh maintaining a more consistent ball flight definitely one of them this one being able to put the low spin at the front definitely one of them because you can play it more penetrating what are the cons though we're going to get into that Ooh. this looks so good so good Very similar ball flights. I almost feel like, you know, if more tour pros use these, I think it might be past yours, you know. Oh. But it is a low spin setting. If more tour pros use these, people might take them more seriously. I only know of Tommy Fleetwood that has this in the bag. I was just about to say this. But same. he does use it very use it better than me. So. so guys, if you were gonna buy a mini driver, which one would you go for? Both of these would be available on golf clubs for cash. So check them out in the link in the description below if you want. And what are you looking forward to seeing the most in 2024? For me, the mini driver lineup is certainly up there. The clubs I'm mega excited to see. And the PXG one looks incredible. The reason I say this is because I personally think the PXG 0311 Black Ops driver is the best driver of 2024. I think the low spin driver, the tour head is fantastic, although it's not quite as forgiving. And if they make a mini driver, a Black Ops mini driver, a 0311 Black Ops mini driver, even the wind's getting up because we're all getting excited. I'm trying to keep the wind off the mic. You've just tested the TaylorMade today, what are your thoughts? I keep saying TaylorMade, the PXG. The PXG, PXG, fantastic driver, one of the best 
sounding drivers of the year. Again, the solidness, well, the solidness, if that's even that's a thing. That's not a word, mate. Solidness off the face. It does feel solid, the strike, even with off-centred hits. But for me, the biggest thing was front-to-back dispersion was extremely consistent with off-centred strikes, which, unfortunately, we all hit. Imagine how good a 0311 Black Ops mini driver would be with yeah, I mean, movable weights in it. I mean, you see there, obviously, even into a breeze there, we've still been able to fly them well. We've got good distance. We've found the fairway. And after all, isn't that what you want to do? And you know what? I'm going to be honest here. I, I came out yesterday, Chris, and I was struggling with my game, struggling keeping the ball in play, which is why I thought, you know what? Let's do this video that needs doing today, and let's discuss the new ones potentially mm. coming to the market. Now, it just so happens the first shot of the day is a perfect shot down the fairway, and that's where it can kind of, you know, if you are struggling and you need to get either some matches in or you know you've got some tournaments coming up, could just be the saviour. Not a lot of roll. No, not a great deal of roll. But again, in the summer there, it was 291 off those tees. In the summer, a little, little bit of run would only just be short. So I've tested the uh, 300 mini driver only this week and I found realistically I lost 10 to 15 yards with it Yeah. on a, on a driver, but obviously felt a lot more confident with it which confidence really is key. Yeah. You had the wrong club there. You needed a Voker, didn't you? It was a good layup. You needed one of them. Good layup. So into it, what I'd like to see is I'd like to see one of the brands make the mini drive, but not make it a limited run and make it so that it's actually part of a lineup. I know it's difficult because not everyone sees a mini drive like we do. I love them. Some people just think they're a waste of time. Just use a three wood and that's totally up to you. That's your prerogative. So I'll put 40 on him there. Sideways you have, yes. <laughs> and can we just have a word for Woolley Park Golf Club in its all, all its glory today? It's still only March. A lot of other courses are closed. Look at this. Right, let's capitalise here. Sit. Pretty good. So here's one. Out of the TSR, and the PXG, of which we don't really know the name. To be honest, the PXG, I've only really seen one picture of it, and even the guys at PXG didn't really know much about it when I asked them. So, which one do you think looks better? Well, conveniently, I tried to find the PXG picture, and it is the elusive one that I couldn't find it again. It, maybe it's gone, maybe it was a hoax. I hope mm. not. I hope not, because it did look fantastic. Do you want to evoke it? No, oh, you're all right. I'm just going to bump one up there. Oh, how good is that? How good is that? The first one might have been not the best, but that will do. And that's the key, Chris, when you're playing golf. Everyone hits bad shots, but a good player doesn't play two bad ones in a row. There you go, James Robinson, get that quote down. Yeah, I've stolen it off someone. Oh, dear. This to go one up. I thought, you know, when I was over there, I was thinking, oh, I'll probably make par and you'll be all right, but you've played a worldie there. Yes. Look at the, you know, it's the season when what, James? Well, the season is nearly upon then us. And we've got a fringe again. Correct, and something else that you look like. What? The flag. Oh, new flags. New flags here at Woolley Park. There was a big debate we had on that, remember? I thought there was a big fat <laughs> running around the course somewhere. No, a finely tuned athlete. Looks like the flag. Go. Oh, that was such a good line as well. I'll give you that for a half, my friend. Such a shame. But you know what? Whenever I hit these drivers and then I sort of get this because the worst you're going to make if you're in play really from there is a par, isn't it? Unless you duff it and then you duff the other one. But like we said, a good golfer never plays two bad ones in a row, do they? It is magic. Oh, sorry, James. I, I got distracted. That, well, I, I have lost, if I turn sideways, have I gone? There you go. It can't see you. Right, two good opening pars. So when it comes to the technology in a mini driver, what do you say to people who say, oh, it's just an old, older, smaller headed driver? They're not far off, are they? But, no, they're not but far off. When you look at the tech in them, so the through slot speed pocket in that one and that waiting at the back. Twist does it have face. twist face? It yeah. Does. Did, I mean, is that still a thing? I don't know, actually, but I certainly hit some straighter shots with it the other day. I think the big thing that's happened with drivers, mini drivers and all drivers, is the ability to change weighting. So multi-material design, carbon crowns and things like that, you put them on the smaller heads now and it does make them a little bit different to something, say, such as that, which is an old school Cobra driver we are comparing to the dark speed, which people have asked for. So stay tuned if you want to see that and hit that subscribe button. But I think there's a charm to them. Yeah, I just think it gives you, obviously, it's right in between. It's a, 
It's a bigger than a fairway head, so it's giving you. You can that... hit them off a fairway as well, can't you? They are yeah. fairly s simple to hit. But it gives you that confidence that it's not a massive head where a lot of people, as soon as they get a drive head, they try and hit it a lot harder because they think, well, I've got more surface area, so I might as well give it a Would go. Would you put a long shaft in that? Say that graphoid blue shaft? Or is that define the point? I think that's just define the point. You, yes, you might get that extra distance out of it potentially, but is it worth it for your miss hits? Probably not, because it is pretty consistent. Look at that slinger. You tried to play that as well, because you are aiming there, weren't you? Bit of a Tina Turner, some would say. Twist face playing a part there, because that was a toe strike. Right, I'm surprised actually, more of the kind of more D to C brands, the direct consumers such as Tacoma, Cali, maybe even Kirkland. Imagine if Kirkland made a mini driver. Ooh. I think uh, mess would hit the fan, Chris. It would. Right. I'm gonna go a little bit further left than you. Okay. Things off the right though. A bullet. As a ball fly, because I have been struggling this last week, and as a ball fly, that's not moving in the air. It's probably pitching around 260, as opposed to my driver pitching 270. I, I just, it baffles me this. It baffles me that I haven't had it in the bag longer and more people haven't bought them. Well, they're sold out, so. I can't see. Is that my drive? Well, it could be, yeah. Just, that is ridiculous. You know, whenever I've tested these as well, if you get like that, that ball flight there, we're into the wind here. I bet I've put 50, 60 on him. 60, again, 60 left. Uh, Chris, that's bang smack middle of the fairway. Well, I know left of mine, mine's a bit right. <laughs> I mean, right, Christopher up in the right hand row. There's definitely nearly 60 between us. You've done me again now. Two at for 30, two. At least 30. Do you reckon that's because it's a low spin one? A little bit low spin, I think. I mean, you know, obviously that and the raw club head speed that's been imparted on it. Yeah, the athleticism that you've got as well. So, or maybe that's 11.5 and mine's 13.5, but. Yours is adjustable as well, my friend. It is. I don't have a key. That's better. Oh, oh. how's that? Go in. Oh, we'll take it. I'm not sure it was better the shot or the camera work. I'm not trying to steal any uh, Sky game there, but Sky Sports esque. Incredible. Well, it's gone a little bit long actually. A cracking effort. Get that. Oh dear. So this hole off that tee measures 340 yards. This one certainly hasn't pitched and stopped. I think it has had a little bit of run out, but still, that's massive. Probably got 70 yards in. <clears throat> Chris just tried putting me off there. Making me do some work on the phone. Never do such a thing. 70 yards? Yeah, you got your Voki. Yeah. Land it into that slope and let it come down. Oh, like that. People are just go at the flag. Is it? Oh, it's trying. You That's can't a... play a shot. You know, if the green was a little bit quicker, exactly what we wanted. It would be. Although, fantastic surfaces here at Woolley. Ironed daily, like my clothes. That's what I need to work on this year, be able to hit that, you know, the distance. With it like that, like Zach Johnson. And it is truly amazing how just taking this club out and having this discussion with you guys and with Chris has almost turned my game around a little bit. Like I'm now picking shots that yesterday I wouldn't have dreamed of doing. So I wanted to land it on that slope I did do. It managed to come down a little bit, not as much as I would have liked. But just enjoying golf again. I think that's what these clubs really are all about. Making sure you enjoy golf and potentially shoot lower scores. Fancy taking it out for us, Christopher? What, your twin? Yep. Half like and that. half. You don't want to get them dirty, though. Exactly the same. Layup. Perfect line. It's a solid, it's an easy par though, isn't it? New cups as well. Right. Is this it? Is this the moment with the AI one? With the Golf Pride. And a Kirk. Reverse taper grip. It's been working wonders. Hmm. I mean, other than the read, it was a great pace and roll. Right, ties are squared. That doesn't make sense, does it? Ties are squared. Scores are squared. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a bonus point for a long drive down this hole. We all know what's going to happen here, because I've outdriven Chris twice. He's going to get me on this hole. But 
That means if we do... Uh... Oh, I've no, only found I one of these. I thought you didn't have one. No, I don't have a key. Oh, I've just found it. Oh, well, I you, you know what, Marakis, I've just found it. What balls we got in here? Max flies, can't get PG them in the UK. They're, they're, they're from in the studio, then, aren't they, PGA Tour? I don't know what you're on about. We're glad someone's using them. What else? We, oh, we've got three. We've got four of them. Oh, yeah. No, we should Where have three. Where are my TP5s in here? In there. This is unbelievable. I've got those half and halves. Not those half and halves. What's this one? Max fly. Can't beat a Max fly. Ooh, Best ball of the year. What? Is that uh, Isleworth? No, Lake Nona. No, that is... Las Colinas? Yeah... Actually. Anyway, we've spoken anyway, pros for these clubs. We're down at 11 and a half now. What do you reckon the cons are? Well, I was just about to say, it's a bit of a catch-22 for these because obviously... Catch-22? If we did put them in, you'd get a lot of comments potentially saying that, well, you're obviously not good enough to hit a driver, that's why you've got a mini driver. Whereas you've also got the guys that will say that, well, I just prefer to hit this. So you'll have your people who like mini drivers, you'll have your people who say, well, you've only got a mini driver because you're not good enough but it's all personal preference. I think it's more of the stigma around it. You've only got a mini driver because you can't hit a driver. Now, I agree with that, but also I think the possible cons are you may be losing out on 20 yards on some shots. I think if you strike it like I have done today, to be honest, I don't think my driver would go that much further, maybe 10, 15 at a push if I hit it as well out the middle. Not that I would every time. I think if you looked over the course of a round, it'd be interesting to see what your averages would be. Maybe that's a video with a, a golf song where you take it out and see how far they actually go over a course of 14 holes, because you're not going to go on par threes. Yeah, you're going to hit 14 times. How much yardage do you lose in 14 hits? I don't know. That's a toey low spin dipper just down the left side of the fairway. Oh, it's it's caught the uh, it's caught the. Uh, we'll bleep that out. <laughs> I'm going to say losers buying the sandwiches from the bakery. Why haven't you? Oh no! That's Get right. Fine. You know what? That might be all right. Foul ball. And again. Cons, if you do go after it and you, you put a bad swing on it, it isn't always going to hit the fairway. Right, out of interest, Chris is finishing off one of his videos from today with the PXG driver we're talking about. So, we'll compare and see, because you hit that one mini driver good, didn't you? Yeah, struck it pretty well. A little bit toey, but I think it was good. And again, this so far has been a, a, an absolute beast. So, for the sake of this video, we're going to compare it. Just as a little bit of fun. Ooh, added bonus content. So interestingly, Chris, your mini driver is bang smack in the middle and the PXG driver that you slightly misstruck is all the way down there. Then you hit a really bad one that came out there, to be fair. So what are your thoughts on that? Because, I mean, there's, in fairness, that is a dis distance difference, isn't it? Yeah, and that's what I found inside. It was very interesting when I hit numbers with this. Obviously, a miss hit with a normal standard driver was going as far as a, as a pretty good mini driver. So you're already fighting an uphill battle. When we're talking cons, I mean, mine, mine hit this tree and managed to come out. So unfortunately, you're one up now. And that was the longest drive as well. That's what I mean. So that means sandwiches. Oh, I might have a can of Rio. Right, about 150 out. Into the wind. Nice chippy one. Control the ball flight. Away we go. It's a nice flight. What a player. Cracking shot. A little chippy six, that. Oh. You know, some days you feel like you can't hit it, and then the day after you feel like, oh, I'll just play. Yeah. Nice. Right, you're more central there as well, so. Yeah. Certainly deserve a long drive. Ham salad sandwich. Somebody's closer though for the second. It's pin high, but it was a terrible shot. Yeah. Advantage you. So guys, do me a favor, get in the comments below. Which driver are you looking forward to seeing the most this year? It's amazing how the mini drivers don't come out in tandem with the full fully fledged drivers as well. I can't wait to see them. I hope the PXG one does happen because I think that will be an absolute beast. Now I'm going to roll this putt in and tie the match with Chris. Well, that's a very difficult flag location on this 18th hole. We've just wondered who who did it, and it was that man there. A stew pin, you could say. 
We like to know them as stupid pins, don't we, Chris? <laughs> There's a lot of them, it seems. Cracking looking colour, though, on the flag. That's not up. That's not up. Stay. Come on. I mean, that would have been off the green in the summer, yeah, luckily. It would. it would. It is the winter. Is that good? That's... no. Okay. Well... well if this goes six foot past, then it's good, because I need this realistically. This is it. This is what you come for, sports fans. Right Hill. here. Left to right. It's, it's positive. Oh. Get in! <laughs> oh, and that, dear. we're halved. Buy your own sandwich. Cracking flag location, that's you. Can't go wrong with that. So really, without the long drive, I've hammered you. I, I, I mean, I 